Morning, Michael. Hi, Barry. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, today's the day, you know, we've been talking about your starting insulin, and today's the day where we're going to teach you how to inject yourself. Um, I want to begin by allaying any apprehension you may have. I think you're going to find this to be a painless procedure, uh, but you'll tell me afterwards, and, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, there are two devices that we utilize uh, to inject insulin. Insulin's uh, injected into the body. One is a insulin pen. The other would be a traditional insulin syringe. Both can be utilized for virtually any kind of insulin. Regardless of what insulin we use or what device we use, the technique that we utilize to inject is virtually identical. Today we're going to be using an insulin syringe to teach you. It's one of the simpler ways of doing it. Um, and I think you're going to find this to be an incredibly painless experience in spite of any apprehension that you may have. When we administer insulin, there are three places that historically we've administered it. One is in your arm, the second is in your stomach, and the third is in your outer hip. Um, patients almost universally tell me for the first time when they're doing this, uh, it's much easier for them to do it in their stomach. So I'd like to do that today if that's okay with you. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so before we get started, I want to talk to you about three words or three P's specifically that we're going to utilize. One is you're going to pull the skin, um, you're going to place the needle, and then you're going to push the plunger on the syringe to inject. So those three P's and we'll walk you through it as we do that. So if we can, let's start with lifting your shirt up and gently we're going to just take an alcohol swab and a couple of inches to the side of your belly button just gently swab the area then I'm going to take the cap off the syringe now you have an exposed needle so you want to be careful with that and you want to hold it with your index finger on the barrel uh, between your second finger and thumb great now you're going to pinch your skin, pull it away, you're going to place the needle against it. Now stop right there and tell me, do you feel any pain or do you just feel a little bit of pressure or you feel nothing at all? Nothing at all. Okay. So if you were then to apply a little bit of pressure, you'll find that the syringe would go all the way in and then you inject, push the plunger, and then remove it. And how did that feel? Wow, didn't feel pain. Okay, well, um, I want you to remind me, what are those three words that you use there? Pull, place, and push. Okay, now if you placed it and you felt any pain, you just move it a quarter of an inch one way or another, you're likely right on the end of a nerve ending. And if you move it, it's gonna be completely painless. At this point in time, I wanna make sure that you dispose of these in a sharps container appropriately. You don't want anybody else to get stuck. Okay, you don't recap these, you just put them right in the Sharps container. But I want to congratulate you. You did a great job. Thank You're on you. your way to better controlling your blood sugars with insulin now and treating your diabetes. Thank you.